I'm Al Chester, and when I think about the 78 National Championship team, you can't help but think about the coaches and players who passed away. You're also mandated to mention the 1977 team, the only undefeated team in the country, and black national champs. The success of both teams was due to superb preparation. Coach Hubbard and his staff had us over the top prepared. So it wasn't a matter if we would win, but a matter how bad we were going to beat you. Obviously, the Catalyst was playing the national championship game against the University of Massachusetts. However, the two games that I have the fondest memory of was the loss to Tennessee State in Dope Campbell Stadium and the shootout Joe Adams and I had. The other game was the Bethune-Cookman Thriller in Tampa, wherein we were down 17-0 at halftime, and to come back and win that 27-17 was the true turning point that propelled us into the playoffs. Of course, we had to beat Grambling in the Orange Blossom Classic before being the last team selected for the Division I AA playoff. Note, we had the best record of all the other teams. Ironically, there were two black universities and two white universities selected. Geographically, we should have played the University of Massachusetts in the first round, and Jackson State should have actually played Nevada Las Vegas. But the powers to be had the two black schools play against each other and the two white schools play against each other, and I'll let you figure out the logic behind that. Nevertheless, to me, the Jackson State game was a national championship game. No disrespect to the University of Massachusetts, but that was the game. Here we are, 40 years later, celebrating the accomplishments of Rattler football. To God be the glory.